Alrighty, and NCP week one. We're doing a different sort of setup, uh, but it just thrust me into the game. That's cool. Um, we see he brings Urshifu, Rapid Strike, Latios, Aegislash, Whimsicott, Volcanion, and Stunfisk. Okay, so my plan is to lead Thundee. If he leads Stunfisk, I lead, or I U-turn into Zarud. If he leads anything else, I still U-turn, but probably predicting these, uh, I'm just like trying to game plan. If the Stunfisk comes in, Mamoswine. Uh, and yeah, we'll go from there. There's a Whimsicott. Whimsicott? Um, I don't really know how well I pivot into it. I probably just have to go Thundee on it, in all honesty. Um, my build is a little bit Whimsicott weak, but there's no Toxtricity, which is nice. There's no, um, what else was I kind of worried about? Uh, I don't know, but Aegislash is the biggest threat to me, followed probably by, um, whatchamacallit, Urshi? Or maybe Laddie, just depends how it plays. Like, a choice band Urshifu could be kind of scary. But yeah, good luck, have fun to Dr. Slacking, and um, hopefully we'll be able to get into this soon, and we get to pick the music for this. This is like my favorite thing. You guys get to listen to Bead's theme, provided that I set it up properly and you can hear it. Bead's theme is like my favorite piece of Pokemon music. Um, but yeah. I think this is my first time playing him, so good luck, have fun as always, and Stargazer is the stun fist. That's fine. Um, Scald is a fair play, as is Rocks. Um... As is Discharger Earth Power. Alrighty, so why I brought Thunderous to this matchup. Thunderous seems like just a great offensive piece, only really stopped by Stunfisk. Um, and that opens up plenty of play patterns for me, U-turning relatively freely on an incoming Stunfisk into my Mamoswine and picking up a kill is the main thing that Thunderous is designed to do here. Um, but T-Bolt Psychic Sludge Bomb does really good damage. Um, it was kind of like tough figuring out which set of moves I wanted on my Thunderous because additionally like Focus Blast and Dark Pulse both had merit because Latios and Crocodile. but in the end I decided U-Turn was fine enough damage on those mons and I don't really want to be staying in on them so here's the U-Turn. Um, and then Thunderbolt is very spammable. Sludge Bomb is nice because this is kind of my best Whimsicott pivot. And while I didn't expect Whimsicott to come, it is here. So it's something to keep in mind. And then Psychic was for Toxtricity, uh, which was a very, very scary mod in the matchup. As well as Amoongus, which I wasn't as scared of, but I still wanted that extra insurance against it. Um, knowing the six that he has now, totally wish I had like Dark Pulse for the Laddie and the AG. But... We have this set this game, and I was defiant just in case like Crook intims me. I want to like have some sort of bluff, but Crook also isn't here. So yeah, that is what Thunderous is designed to do this game. Um, and I'm playing on my Joy-Con Drift, so we're having a fun game already. I just U-turn. You'll show me if your helmet. Oh, there's no Crook. That's actually nice. That's very nice. Um, that makes my Zarud much more expendable. Yeah, Zama's so hype, bro. <laughs> this is, like, so hype for me. You just got rocks up. That's fine. So had I gone Mamo, I would have been in a fantastic spot. Zarud was an important piece in the builder because Crocodile is just a menace on paper. Um, it just does so much work uh, into my team. Earthquake is really spammable, and you can get it in on the Chansey and really scare me out with a knockoff. Um, but... I understand why it's not here, but let's talk about what Zarud does now that we know it's not here. Power Whip seems very free. In a lot of the mocks that I played, Whimsicott didn't come, and then looking at the calcs, Whimsicott is still taking about 40-ish percent from a Power Whip, which is really solid. And it's very spammable because the resists to Power Whip don't want to come in on a Lariat, Aegislash, and Latios. So the offensive merit is here, and um, Whimsicott will get slowly chipped down. Or I can U-turn out and get something in like my Thunderous or like my Zama and be able to almost nearly force a kill. Uh, and so that is kind of what Zarud is meant to do. But 
I just kind of whip for relatively free here. Um, like, Volcanion comes in if it's, like, it could be kind of physically defensive. If it's not, that's fine. Yeah, I can just whip here. Um. Okay. He switches probably into Volcanion, right? Storm. Maybe Whimsicott. Yeah, fuck, I should have U-turned. That's still just damage, I'm not gonna lie. And you are Helmet Whimsicott. I will get lefties. Get money. And then I'll go into my Boots Thunderous. Okay, but yeah, that was fine. Like, had I gone the aggressive play into Mammostone, we could have been, like, potentially already finding ourselves a kill, which would have been huge, but eh, it is what it is. We got the Lemon Jello LaCroix. Good stuff. But yeah, physically defensive Whimsicott, maybe. I don't know if that's physically defensive, but it is at least Helmet. Um, I took off Behemoth Bash on my Zamazenta for Psychic Fangs because of Toxtricity walling my set, but now Whimsicott is kind of good into it. I could see a knock here, is what I'm... Oh, Leech Seed, that's fine. You, I don't think, stay in, other than protecting. Um, because, like, Sludge Bomb is a very real click. Um, or Sludge Wave. I've got Sludge Bomb, because I figured I already kill. Fishing for poisons is nice. But yeah, I'm just gonna once again click U-turn, and hopefully get in my Mammal Swine. The way I bring it in should hopefully telegraph Sludge Bomb. I hope. <laughs> um, and then I assume Hard Urshi goes out on the Mammoth Swan if I do get that in on the Stun Fisk. He just switch. Thankfully, Monty is AG. Okay. Um, that was a crit, that does nothing. <laughs> um, I don't think it's worth it to go Mammo. What I can do is go Zama, get a Howl. Um, Rocks really doesn't affect me. Five damage. And we'll get our physical defense boost. And you are Leftovers. That's cool, because that means no Life Orb. And Life Orb is kind of scary. You know, we're not going to be playing a game in this league without our Zamazenta. But what does it do this week? Um, Zamazenta this week is an important offensive piece. Um, in that it will be able to do a lot of damage to his team. Crunch is great for the Aegislash and the Latios. Um, close combat kind of does really well. I took off Behemoth Bash for Psychic Fangs. Because uh, Amoongus and Toxtricity were kind of worrying uh, for the CC Psychic Fangs Crunch set. But now we don't have a super effective move for Whimsicott. However, that is fine. Whimsicott isn't the bulkiest thing. It really just doesn't even appreciate close combat. So, uh, that'll be fine. Uh, his main response to this mod, I have to imagine, is Volcanion with the 6 that he brought. Um, but he really just doesn't have the best counterplay to this thing in general. After a howl, we're threatening to 2 a KO the entire team. With enough chip on things, the Volcanion will go down, um, the Stun Fisk will go down, uh, and those are like the two main things that I need chip on to win with my Zama. But I can still break with it early. I'm just gonna howl. Um... You just switch into Storm is the Whimsicott. What are we looking at, damage-wise? Um, Zamazenta, Whimsicott. I wish I had Behemoth Bash, I would have been in a fantastic spot. Um, plus one Psychic Fangs does a lot of damage. Based on the Zarude damage, he actually isn't like that bulky. Um, I'm fine taking chip on my Zama, and I'm fine with my Zama getting status because 
my game plan is to healing wish it up with Chansey later in the game anyways. Oh, you encore me. Okay, that's fine. Um, it's probably not worth it to stay in given the free leech seed momentum and stuff. So I will just go into my Fundy. Um, this is where I kind of wish I had Dragalge, but Fundy has actually been doing, or is like quite fine here. You just U-turn. Okay. So now we are uh, on the back foot, but we're not really that far on the back foot. We just go Stunfisk, U-turn into, uh, or he goes Stunfisk, we just U-turn. Um, you could go AG still, we just U-turn, but T-Bolt maybe, um, actually is a viable click. Um, Stargazer, yeah. You can't really double, is the other thing. Um, and you are lefties, okay. U-turn, we're up on timer a little bit, it's still early game, but... I don't know why. Encore just, like, didn't. Normally it does pop into my head when I see Whimsicott, but I don't know why it didn't. Um, he doubles. Okay, cool. So we're in a fine spot. Storm. Whimsicott. Sure. Technically, you get helmet chip. But that's still. Like, I'll take that chip on you for the chip on me. And then Zama does force you right on out. Um, it should, at least. There's something called Behemoth Bash. And Behemoth Bash is a cool move. In that, it's a funny button. And I will click Crunch. I think mid-grounding the Crunch for the Aegislash is a fine click. And I don't think you stay in. <laughs> um... See, show me Age Slash. Kanye. Volcania. That's fine. Crunch. Ba bum bum. And we get a defense drop. Okay. So what you looking at? Health wise. You're at 80%. Um level 50. That defense drop might be huge. You are relatively physically defensive, it looks like. Um, so then at minus one, I'm not killing you, still. So I must switch into my Chansey. Chansey was actually the second Mon that I threw onto this build, just knowing it blanket checked a lot of his special offense with my Zamazenta blanket checking a lot of his physical offense. but. Primarily, this thing will wall out any type of Volcanion, uh, any type of Toxtricity other than like a Shift Gear Drain Punch set, but even that isn't that bad. Um, and it'll be able to pivot in on Aegislash, but the big thing that Chansey provides us this week is a consistent uh, medium with which we can teleport into our scary offensive threats like Aegislash, or not like Aegislash, like Zama, like Mamo. Um, even though we can't touch Aegislash, I can still kind of switch into it and then teleport out of it. Um, and that's really good. Uh, it baits in stuff like Crook, like Urshi, but those mons I have good enough counterplay for that I'm willing to do this. And even like if he does stay in on like a teleport play that I make, like with his Volcanion, for example, Mamoswine is still a Mamoswine, like... That Mon is a demon here. Um, so, like, it really loses me nothing because I do have good offensive counterplay for his entire team, even if he stays in. So, that's kind of what Chansey does here, aside from the one massive thing that I've not yet mentioned, which is healing with my Zamazenta back to full. Healing with Zama is huge for me because it ensures that I have sort of a second life on that Pokemon which is far more important than Chansey's life because Zama gives him a really, really hard time. Especially when he brought, like, uh, not the best ways of getting, or er, he has some good ways of getting through it, but 
if I can wear through those a second Zahama is almost another just win con <laughs> at that point. Having two of them compared to Azama and a chance is also just better. Um, so yeah, that is my chance. You probably body press set. But body press doesn't really do that much damage. Uh, sorry about that. Ice teleport. Monty. AG. Sounds good. Oh, this is rude. I don't know why. I should have just gone Zama. I just didn't want to be like on court or something. Um, but I kind of want to like pop a Culberberry or your lefties. You actually showed lefties already. I'm still gonna U-turn. If you King Shield, you King Shield. He switches though. I'm good at this game. And by I'm good at this game, I mean I'm good in this game. Um, we're still chilling. That was a crit, right? No. Okay, this Whimsicott is just not very good. Zama's back out. And I'm gonna fire off a close combat. I don't think AG comes in. And two King Wakanyan is pretty nice. Um, you could be Scarf Wakanyan, actually. That's probably something worth scouting for. You Leech Seed. Cool. So, we will have to switch next turn, but as of right now, we're just kind of affected by a um, helmet. Okay. And we do claim our first kill of the season with big bad Zamas and the crowd. This mod is great, bro. <laughs> I was struggling so hard in the draft. I'm like, this thing fucking sucks. But no, it's actually just a big fucking ball of stats that people don't really deal with. Damn, my LaCroix is almost empty. I'm just vibing. Straight vibing, though. It's like right after school. Um, Rode home. Ate lunch. For some reason, I didn't eat at school because I was doing uh, chemistry. I'm a big chemistry guy. Fun fact about me. Um, yeah, I haven't even gotten my mammal swine in yet. He has not gotten his Urshifu in yet. Um, that is kind of how you get the Urshi in, is the mammal. And how do I get the mammal in? I need momentum. Uh, or something to die. And nothing is dying. If you double... Good double. Respectable double. Monty. AG comes out. Can I afford to be low? Not really. Like, I can technically eat and switch. I'm fine going Thundee. Um, I think CC comes out. Maybe SD comes out, but I think CC comes out. And then I probably double Zama on the sneak if uh, I'm in sneak range. It'll do the same as CC. Do fire off an attack. Iron Head. Ooh. I'm too shysty with it. That is 100% sneak range. I'm going to go into my Zama. Um, yeah. Thundee's still a fantastic, like, facilitator of getting in my, um, thing. You do sneak and pick me off if you have it. I assume you do. I assume you're Iron Head, Sneak, King Shield, CC on this set. Iron has an interesting bring. I didn't think, like, that much of it. I thought Sword Stance was maybe a bit scary, but... I just didn't want my Zama to be taking a CC, and you didn't go for CC, so... Maybe you don't have... I, I don't think there's an Age Slash that comes versus me without CC. And you just King's Shield. That's fine. Hmm. 
Okay. I feel like I crunch. If I howl and you king shield, you're fucked. Right? And I've shown howl. So I don't think you stay in, and I'm glad to take the chip on Volcanion. Because you do live from my calcs. You do live, if you're physically defensive enough, crunch into CC still. And maybe you're afraid of what? Ooh, okay. So you do not king shield. And we do get like 50% off. That's fantastic. And we get a defense drop. I am getting quite lucky with my crunches. We live as CC very cleanly. Very cleanly. We should live a sneak from here too. Um, I do believe that a king shield comes out though. I think there's no reason not to king shield other than maybe like getting aggressive enough on me. Huh? What happens? I feel like crunching is actually just fine, right? If he does king shield, great. I think you might see you might have to CC on like a. If I howl, you're fucked. Um, is kind of my logic. I don't think you raw lose, but you are in a position where you're sacking a couple. Um, you do just sneak. Okay, perfect. And I can heal English later. Because we do eat that up. Yeah. Perfect. So that is phase one of our game plan, I think. Is getting through the opening couple members and our Zamazenta gets low. Um... Phase one complete. Phase two is mid game. Try to break up with Mamo. Um, I think Mamo is where this, I think Zarud is or not Zarud. Uh, Urshi comes in now. Ooh, Laddie. Fuck. Okay. So my Laddie counterplay was this, and I feel like a trick could come out. I'm gonna go into my Zarud. I feel like Mystical Fire is fine, but I also feel like you could be clicking Trick here. Um, because I think Trick Scarf is very fine. You do Psy Shock, I'm cracked, brother. Um, and either you're showing non-choice here, or you are um, fine. And I'm just gonna whip, right? Because if you show me non-choice, that's fantastic information. I'm dying anyways, I believe. And whip just kind of nuts me a kill, otherwise. This was here to counterplay Crocodile. Crocodile isn't here, so it's now kind of a more expendable member. You do stay in and Psy Shock. I did not think it was worth calling that out. I do believe you are choiced, and I'm just gonna whip again. Um, I'll keep taking my lefties. I'll one v one your Latios with my power whipping Zarud. I don't care. Um, that's good chip on Lottie. Um, there's really nothing worth doubling into, um, when power whipping continuously does just kind of net me a kill. Kanye. This is close to a kill. If I do connect, I do. That is a crit. I am sorry about that. It does mean that I don't really need to... This is kind of my opportunity to healing wish up my... Zama, and it also scouts for potentially like Scarf on this. So yeah, I will take up my opportunity to um, healing wish my Zama Zento when Volcano gets this low. You do Sludge Wave. Okay. That doesn't really move my health bar. Healing Wish. I assume your boots. Yeah, you do just body press. We do eat that up. That pretty much confirms that your boots. And so we didn't really execute phase th uh, phase two. We didn't really break with our mammo before entering phase three. Zama comes out. So I guess we kind of reorder the phases, and now this becomes phase two. But we have a fully healthy Zamazenta again. This is clean. And then off. That's a kind of trippy animation, I will not lie. Um, I will fi I'm fine psychic fangs in here if you like 
pull out the um, hard Urshi. Um, that would put us in an advantageous spot. And now the Volcanion is dead. Um, what do you got to revenge me, bro? Because unironically, Zama kind of fucks up an Urshifu. Level 50. Stargazer, Stunfisk, that's fine. Um, I'll go Mammo. It's like, at this point, it's just kind of gravy. I, I think my Mammo is. So, going Mammo and Earthquaking is fine. Um, if you Scald, you Scald. I think Zarud has been my play repeatedly. So, we could see like a Sludge Bomb if you choose to be carrying that. Um, could see a double. But Mammoth Swine is just kind of gravy. We see a T-Bolt. No, not even Discharge. Okay, cool. I'll do it real quick. Uh, if you go Lottie, you go Lottie. Um, it is what it is. Look at my Mammoth Swine. Look at his team. He really does not have Mammoth Swine counterplay. Um, it Tuba KOs his entire team, aside from a physically defensive Urshifu Rapid Strike. Um, and it also means like Earthquake is a very, very free... Uh, first click because earthquake into crash or shard was just kind of too good um and it just kind of let up or it kind of allowed me to push a lot of progress um crash and eq are sort of the bread and butter of the set uh, shard is great picks off latios with uh, even a little bit of chip picks off crocodile can pick off a whimsicott so that'll be important and then like I said with our Thunderous, getting in on the Stunfisk is important. I can't go hard into the Stunfisk without Misty Terrain up because I don't want to risk like a Scald Burn. But other than that, Mammoth Swine is great here. Um, and uh, Rocks, if we need Rocks, are on the set, but they weren't really ever being clicked this game. And uh, yeah, so basically if I get my Mammo in easily, it should be able to net a kill or at least put me in a great spot. And uh, the speed will speed type Braviary, and yeah, that is what our Mammoth Swine is here to do. Earthquake is fine. I don't really need rocks for this end game. You do swap. Yeah, okay, perfect. I feel like I'm playing this game like quite well. Oh, your Earthquake. Ooh, I mean Everly. Okay, cool. That's cool. I do still have a whole ass Feeny. Um, that you really do struggle with at this point. But you're not Scarf and you're not Pads, so. And you Surging Strikes and you're at 50%. Cool. And then I can Drain and Kiss. And maybe Feeny just raw seals up this endgame. Yeah. That is an Urshifu Rapid Strike moment. I don't really need to knock, right? It doesn't really do me much. Uh, it's... Yeah, no, it really doesn't do anything for me. The last Mon on the build is Tapu Feeny. Pretty physically defensive. Um... I've got speed to make sure that I am faster than I believe it was Modest Volcanion. Um, and Draining Kiss is great here. Um, just to stay healthy on the Urshi Laddie, uh, stuff like that. Surf does enough damage to things. Defog, because rocks could get kind of annoying for something like my Chansey. Um, he doesn't have like spike stack, but still uh, the rocks throughout the game could get uh, kind of annoying if I don't want them there. I have the defog option and the knock of my own uh, because being able to sort of just remove items is nice. We really don't do anything Volcanion. There's not really much that a Tapu Fini can do to a Volcanion. So I figured knocking it might be able to do something for me. And we're quite physically defensive to take on Urshifu. And uh, yeah, that is our Tapu Fini. Draining Kiss is just a superior play. And you do your turn, so you're even lower. Um, Yeah, okay, cool. 
And you can't take me out very easily, so... I just draining kiss and then like surface dunfisk. Oh, I just go. I just go just root on it. <laughs> Take a little bit of health off of you. That really doesn't do anything, but that's fine. Um. Oh, no, misty terrain's up. I just go mammo and I crash. Mamma Crash is fine. Air Balloon. Urshi is interesting. And then you remember that I just have a Rocky Helmet Tapu Fini. And it's not as cool anymore, is it? Because <laughs> you're not even choice banned. So it's like the poison jabs aren't doing that much. You do just T-Bolt, and I do just Icicle Crash into Ice Shard. Should be able to even pick up the kill on, um, Urshi. Um, so I think you have to sack something that isn't Urshi, right? I can do math. My math says that I think I'm in a good position. You do switch into the Urshi, and I would appreciate an Icicle Crash connection here. And we do get it. Let's go Mammo. Um, Mammo does just kind of raw win, so there's no point in like dying to Jet. I'll go Zama. Um, I think there's no point in dying to Jet. I want Zama kills if I can get him. I don't think CC's ever a play. Oh, it is CC. Okay, cool. Well then. Um. I'm still trying to figure out how I preserve diff. That was a stupid play. Like, it really didn't get me anything. Other than, like, it made me feel good. I just go Feeny. Uh, you are gonna jet. Um, yeah, no. That really was not anything other than just being stupid. Trying to preserve diff. That was a overly aggressive for diff play. That I don't think it loses me the game. It does take away one of my counter plays to Lottie. But I don't think Lottie can win when I have Mammoth Swine Ice Shard. Just minimizing the Feeny damage. Feeny kills via Helmet. It's Urshi food that the only thing I did to it was Icicle Crash with Mammoth Swine. Cool. And now you have to go Lottie and be choice locked. Um. Or you go Stunfisk and you just get surfed. But Lottie being choice locking is the nail in the coffin, I believe. Stargazer, Stunfisk. Nemo. Nemo's cool. If it's non scarf, Lottie can't really win. And Scarf can't lock anything. Um, cool. I think you just died of Ice Shard. It's pretty close. For a Life Orb Ice Shard. So I do believe Mamoswine will just ice this game for us. Get it? Um, but yeah. I like the way that played out. Um, especially, I feel like I just played very smoothly. Um, there were a couple turns where it was a bit rocky, and I played not optimally, but I was always in a good enough position where that didn't ever punish me. I was really quick. Um, I don't think we Oko, but I don't think you will kill me, like, unless you like Scald or something. Oh, we do. Okay, cool. Um, you weren't very physically defensive, I guess. Um, but yeah, good game. Uh, this team played out very well. Uh, very, I think, just consistently good build. Uh, and I was able to like make some plays, uh, knowing that my build could carry me. And I was able to just kind of do well. 
Um, there was a little bit of hacks in my favor, but I don't think it severely ruined his chances to win. Um, I really like that healing wish play on my end. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed week one of the NCP. Uh, and uh, yeah, until next time, Jesse504 out. Peace.